Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Don't forget to please download the video and share it with your friends as soon as we finish. And today uh, we have a background, a bag noise. Hold. All right. Today our topic is the Muslims they deny that Allah is the moon god. So who was Allah? And how Allah end to be a father of three beautiful hot sexy daughters my skype is open from now if there is any muslim would like to give us the idea and don't tell me muslims that you muslims do not know how the arab end worshiping allah who has three daughters you see that what the, what the muslim they say to us or the muhammadan that the arab before islam they are pagan i agree they are pagans but Islam is a pagan cult because you and the pagan they are worshiping the same God. You see, the Quran consistently keeps saying that the Arab they worship Allah. The Arab, the, the, you see, the Quran never said that the Arab are not worshiping Allah. So how the pagan they have the same God of Muhammad? You know what I mean? If they are pagan. I mean, you call them pagan, yet they are worshipping the same God you worship. Now, this God, his name is Allah. Where is this name coming from? We don't know. Why we don't see it in the Torah? We don't know. Why we don't see it in Injil? We do not know. They will say to you all, if you read the Arabic translation of the Bible, this is a stupid translation, you know. This is not the Bible, this is a translation. The same as your translation when you say Jesus. There is nowhere in the Quran that says Jesus. Nowhere in the Quran there is a per person, his name is Yeshua or Jesus. There is a guy, his name is Isa. Who is Isa? We do not know. So, Islam, you know, simply is a collection of paganism mixed together with other belief. Like Christianity, Judaism, because Muhammad trying, Muhammad is like a corporation trying, uh, uh, you know, to, to uh, okay, all of you just believe I am a prophet. I believe in what you believe. So even he promised the Sabian that they will go to heaven. How in the world the Sabian they will go to heaven? The Sabian they worship stars. The Sabian they worship stars. How does Sabian they will go to heaven? Because Muhammad is a Sabian. Muhammad is the same as Obama. He is a Jew with the Jew. He is a Hindu with the Hindu. He is a Christian with the Christian. He is a Muslim with the Muslims. And he is an atheist with the atheist. Look what the Quran said. Inna ladina amanu. وَالَّذِينَ هَادُوا وَالنَّصَارَ وَالصَّابِئِينَ Okay, who are they? What, what will happen to them? Translation, please. Those who they are, Jews, and those who they are, Christians, and those who they are, Sabians, they will go to heaven. I mean, you tell me how this happened. How the Sabian became in the same line with the Christians and the Jews. I mean, do you know that the Sabian guys, they believe, and this is written in their book, that Adonai, the God of the Jews, is the devil? Do you know that? The book, it's called Kenza Rabba. I can pull it out, actually, I have it. The Jews, according to the Sabian, they are the enemy, they are the enemy, because they worship the, the enemy of their God. And what is the reason the Sabian, they believe the Jews is their enemy? Anyone knows? Guys, just refresh the page if you have difficulty. Anytime you have difficulty with the sound, just refresh your page, please. Always, when you lose your sound, refresh. Why the Sabi and they consider the Jews their enemy? Anyone knows? No one knows? 
Okay. Well, the Sabian believed that the Pharaoh, he was a Sabian. He is from the same religion. And the Egyptian, they are Sabian. And actually, this is, this is very uh, uh, close to be accurate because the Sabian belief spread all over, all the way to Yemen. All the way to Egypt. This is, was one of the most popular belief in the Middle East. Right? This is, was one of the most popular belief. Uh, somebody says this has happened. Uh, his name is Daniel Kamisi, saying if, if this is if they convert to Islam. That's very funny of you, my friend. It says the Jew is the Sabian and the Christians, which means you are a Jew and you are going to go to heaven. You are a Christian and you are going to go to heaven. And you are a Sabian and you will go to heaven. So those who they are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabian and whoever believe in Allah and the last days, he will go to heaven. Try something else. It doesn't say those who convert to Islam. It says those who they are Jews. They are. The Sabian believe that the Pharaoh is one of them. So what happened to the Pharaoh was done by the enemy God of their God, Adonai. And this is the name written in their book, Adonai. So Adonai is the enemy of the Sabian. And even they make fun of Adonai. They say he is the devil who ordered his followers to do circumcision. Muhammad, he adopts circumcision. Sabi and they consider circumcision from the devil. So how those three, you put them together and you say they will go to heaven because Muhammad is a scam and he is willing to accept anyone, anyone, just say you believe in Muhammad, you will go to heaven. He was trying to promote himself as a prophet. He want to show them that I am not against you. You will go to heaven and you will go to heaven and you will go to heaven. Now the question for today, why Allah, he end with the three daughters, right? Do we have any Muslim want to call me? My Skype, let me be sure that my Skype is open, hold on. We give a chance to the Muslims to call us. We will be happy to hear your voice. If you are a kid when I insult, please don't call us. We will hang up on you. If you want to shout and scream and you will not let us talk, we will hang up on you too. If you use filthy word, you will get what you deserve. All right. All right, we are in Skype. Feel free to call us. We are live on Skype. May Allah torture me inside the grave. Okay. What about your, your Allah, he answer your prayer and do something for you now. Look at you. Look what happened to you. I mean, you are in the best situation ever and Allah is not there. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He have an answer for what we are talking about. If we go to the Quran, we will find the following. Allah complained that the Arab, they gave him three daughters. All right. Allah is saying to the Arab, did you see Allah and Al-Uzza? I mean, how in the world you see Allah? Did, how you say to them, did you see? No, they did not see them. 
Allah claimed that there's really, really, there's a three daughters for, for, for there's, they are called the goddess, they are Allah, Allah, because he says, did you see them? You see here in translation, he says, have you thought upon them? It doesn't say that, it says, afara'aytum. If we change the translation, just to show you how, how the translation, you know, Islamic propaganda, it's a joke. Here, how do you consider Allah al It doesn't say that. It says, for a fara'aytum. Try to change the translation. Let us see uh, this, uh, another Muslim, Muhammadan. Maldudi, Dudi. Let us see Mr. Dudi. Have you ever thought? I mean, where, where is the word thought? What, what's happening here? Thought, Ahmad Ali. Have you considered? <laughs> One after one. Itani, <laughs> have you considered? <laughs> Let us see if we will find one honest translation between all those translations. Have you considered? Uh, carry. Look like they are copy copying each other. You know the word afara'aytum, ra'a mean he's so and this is an Aramaic word it's not an, not, not an Arabic so did you see not to consider did you see the fact Muhammad he claimed that yes he saw Manat he saw Allah he saw al Uzza to the point even he sent Khalid ibn Walid to kill one of the daughters of Allah. Is the daughter of Allah a real or fake? Who's a Muslim want to tell me? Are they real goddess? They are exist or they are fake? Any Muhammadan can give us an answer. Is the daughters of Allah, are they real or fake? <clears throat> Any Muslim? What happened? After we hang up and we go, they will say to us, Christian Prince, you are a coward. And then they say they want to debate me. And if I ever speak to them, they will not let me talk. Who is the coward? All of them, they have no idea what they believe. They don't even know who is Allah. They do not know what the word Allah means. They do not know how this is happening. Where this is a Uzza is coming from, where this is Manat is coming from, who are they? And how the Arab who believe in Allah, they have God, his name is Allah, the same as Muhammad, he is this, exactly the same God. And Muhammad is born from the same city. He believe in the same God. Yet they are pagan. Any Muslim? Anyone? They have no idea. They have no idea. Why they have no idea? Because they are Muslims. Muslims are people who say we are Allahu Akbar, Alhamdulillah. What Allahu Akbar mean? Even Allah, how you say Allahu Akbar? I mean, Akbar in Arabic mean bigger. What does that mean? And how you compare Allah if He is the only true God to anything? Because the second you say Akbar, the same as in Arabic, we say bigger. The Muslims they say it's mean greater. Okay, well, hold on. Greater than who?
We have to compare between two from the same kind. Who, who we are comparing Allah to who? They don't know. They have no idea. I mean, how they will have an idea? They are Muslims. Our Skype is open. Friendly challenge is open for any Muslim to call us. We are not like your, but you know, those who grow beard and they claim that they have knowledge, but yet they, they don't dare even to take a a a, a, a call. Anyone? We will give them time. Maybe they can invite each other and they can call us. Now look what Allah he says. And this is showing us that the one who wrote the Quran is a very, 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 very weird person. Obviously, he's Muhammad. Are you to have the male and for him the female? This is the Muslim translation. Allah is saying to them, what? Hello? You got the male children and you give me females. And the funny, the Quran says that the Arab, when they used to hear that they have a female daughter, they complain. You are the one who's complaining. Do you see it? Allah complain about what? Like what? Hello? For you, the male, and for me, the female. I mean, what is that? Allah, he don't like to have females. Again, this is chapter 53, verse number 21. All right? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? What kind of logic is logic? I mean, just say they are, I don't have. You for you, the male, for me, the female. So Allah don't like females. And this is repeated all over the Quran. You see, the Arab, the Muslim, they say that the Arab, they were savage people. They kill even their daughters. The fact, it doesn't say that. Actually, the Quran says, if Allah don't want them to do that, they will not do it. It was Allah will. But anyway, this is a different interpretation. Maybe we can talk about it later. Look what the Quran says. Confirming that the Arab They didn't have a problem with having gods and they are daughters. They are females. Read carefully. Chapter 4, verse number 117. They invoke and they invoke none but females beside him. Do you see it? And here we notice that Allah is him and they are the females. Is that me saying that or this is the Quran? And Allah is putting down the Arab for they are worshipping females. Are you stupid or what? How you worship females, huh? So the argument of Allah against worshipping someone beside him it is the female. You see, he did not say they are false gods. He said they are females. So the word female is very important to mention their gender. You know what I mean? He did not mention the word female for no reason. It's just to say to them, shame on you. You are worshipping females. And this is telling you that the Arab before Islam, they were way better than the Arab after Islam. Because as you see, here we go, they are worshipping females. I'm not talking about better if they are worshipping the right God or not. I'm talking about better as they are not savage. They don't mind that a female, she is God's for, for them. So the idea of him, the God, 
is the idea of Allah as you see not only that the Arab they consider even angels are female not only gods are females but angels <clears throat> if we go until now by the way we would not see anyone texting us let us go for this verse first hold on Um, did your Lord prepare for you sons and himself adopt females? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid logic like this before? And not only that, you accepted females to be among the angels? You accepted females to be among the angels. You see the problem? Do you see how big the problem? So Allah, consistent speech, speaking about females as they are not worthy of worship. They are females. Any Muhammadan have any comment? Anyone? Please refrain from using bad language, because if you use them, uh, YouTube we have we have uh, uh, we have YouTube uh, like a guideline active, so your comment will be hold, and is not going to show. The only one you will see it is you. Don't use bad words, and we will not approve it. Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He have something to say. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Allah have a problem with females. And we are waiting for any Muhammadan to explain to us how Allah he ended with the three daughters. Where this idea is coming from? Any Muslims knows? Guys, don't mention to me now speaker corners. Just focus with me. I mean, who care about this kid and that kid? They talk about me in my back. But when we talk to them, when we call them, they don't dare to talk to us, correct? You witness that. I mean, they are a bunch of cowards. They are not even worth it to, to mention their names. When we call them, they start playing uh, tape. And the tape is edited. They are a bunch of kids. The real man is the one who call a Christian prince and debate him. Right? You ask me a question, the second I start answering, mute him, mute him, mute him. And then hang up him, I hang up on him. What a debate is debate. We did not debate. We get them busted. They are afraid. It is fear, my friend. It's fear. He is speaking to Christian Prince himself. So I will not give him a chance to talk. He will destroy me. We cannot have a conversation. Yeah. So do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Any Muhammadan would like to call us, please. And don't worry, be happy. We are going to speak to you nicely. Just don't use bad language. We would like to hear you. The only one I don't really like, you know, there is uh, sometimes I receive calls from Nigeria. Muslim Nigerian, when they call me, they don't let me talk. 
I, I spoke already for like four or five of them. There's a unique thing about Muslims in Nigeria. The second they call you, they ask you the question, and then they answer it. I remember once I received a call. This was I was in the Middle East. There's a guy is asking me about someone. So he called. He said, "Is uh, etc." Here, I said, "Well," uh, he said, "I think you know what? I think he's now in the coffee shop. Maybe. Hmm? I think so." I said, "Well," uh, he said, "You know what? I think no, because today he is going to meet with our brother, whatever you know, a friend." I said, uh, "He don't let me talk." I mean, 15 minutes, he is just telling me, I think he will be there, he will think we will be there. And then I said to him, well, I am the one who is you are asking for. It's me. What an idiot. So if you like to call us, we will come everybody, but please give me a space to talk. We will let you talk. Let us talk. We cannot talk over each other. I will hang up on you because there's no point. We want to understand you. We want to hear you. But you should hear us too. This is what conversation is about. Otherwise, don't call me. Talk to yourself. Just stand in the front of the mirror and talk to yourself. Like, yeah, the guy, the Nigerian boy, he called me yesterday. He says, uh, you did lie. The Jesus did not say I am God. No, it says that in the front of your face. He said, uh, read uh, King James. Even in King James, it says that because he's, when he say I am, each time the Bible say I am, you see when the translation uh, uh, say that when Jesus says I am, he is quoting what God says to Moses. So when Jesus says I am the life, how that can be a prophet? I am the life. You are a prophet. How you, how you can be the life? People, did Jesus say I am the life or I'm lying? How you can be the life? You are just a man. You are a prophet. That's what the Muslims they say. So they say to you, what he said, I'm, each time he said, I am, he said, I'm God because I am the life, which means all life is coming from me. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. Even the names of Allah, they are the names of Jesus, which means Allah, Muhammad, he copied the name of Jesus. He put it for Allah. The truth, the resurrection. The light, the nur. And yet they say to you, where Allah, he said, I, where, where Jesus said, I am God. And by the way, don't worship Jesus because he said, I'm God. Because I can say I'm God too. <laughs> Anyone can say I'm God. <laughs> uh, by the way, is the timing good, like three o'clock? Is the timing good for you guys? It's three time in my time. We are already live on air for 34 minutes, I think. So is it good timing? Let me know, please. So maybe we can fix like only one time. Uh, and from time to time, I will go like in different timings just for people who they are in Indonesia, you know, because we love those brothers there and sisters and we want to serve them too. So we can give them a chance to be live with us. All right. Now, my Skype is open. I see nothing. Totally nothing. Not even a single text. Not even a single call. Why? What is the problem? Don't you want to get my IP? I mean, come on. Listen, if you call me in Skype, you will find my IP. So you can flag me each time I go live on air. Don't you want to do that? The second I go live on air, they have like 200 people there and they are using like, uh, you know, uh, uh, hitting into it. Uh, you know, what happened, that's the software I have is stuck with that IP. I don't know why. And it's forwarding to the real IP. So we have to change the software and the equipment and now they cannot do it. Can you call me? If you are a Muslim, you can call me. My friend, we want Muslims. You see what they want to do? The same as the Muslim they do. Two Muslims talking. Did you see what the Christian plans? He said, yes, brother, disgusting. <laughs> we are here. We are here. And we are proving that Islam is nothing but a scam and nobody want to call us. 
And here, what is this is proven to us that the Arab they are pagan like Muhammad because they are worshiping the same God. You see, they are worshiping Allah, and beside Allah, they are worshiping with Him other gods. So, what is the proof that Allah is not just additional pagan God? As long as those are pagans believe in Allah. Actually, we can prove easy that Allah is a pagan God. Allah name is not exist. There's Allah, not Allah. The word Al is a, like in Arabic today, the word Al means that. It's not really even a, like, we cannot even call it a, a word. Al, this type in English. So you guys can see it. Al. Lah. This is what the name of Allah is. Al. Lah. In the ancient Aramaic and even Hebrew, Al is a word meaning God. Later by time, the word Al became ill. So any name will come after it will be God Elohim. You know what I mean? El is God. Is the word God. This is why the angels of the Muhammad, he stole them from the Jews, they end with El. So El either is before the word or at the end. Like Mikael, Gibrael, Azrael, Israfil. Those are names exist in the Islamic books. So, Muhammad the pagan, he stole names. He did not know even what they mean. If we ask the Muslims, what, why, 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 what is the name Jibreel mean? They don't know. What is even, even the language? What is the language which is Jibreel is coming from? They don't know. You know what I mean? They don't know. Because Islam is a theft. It's a copy paste. They don't know. It's like a police car stop you in the street and you have a bicycle. You ask you when you buy this bicycle, you say, I don't know. How much you paid for it, I don't know. Yesterday I was, I was watching a YouTube like about police, you know, uh, uh, like uh, chasing, you know, weird people. A woman, she have a drugs but in her bra. They ask her, okay, do you have any drugs with you? She said, no. She said, no. Then they got a policewoman to check her out. And she found a lot of drugs in her bra. They ask her, where is the drugs coming from? She said, no, I mean, it's in your bra. The drug is in your bra and you do not know? This is Muhammad and this is Islam. Allah is in their bra, but they have no idea where Allah is coming from. Any Muhammad I can explain to us how the bra of Muhammad had Allah inside and he did not know what is that? Right? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Skype is a mute. Nobody talk, nobody is calling. All right? Uh, somebody is saying, a truth seeker, he's saying, let me show you what he's saying. How come Islam is a theft and yet correct the errors in the Bible? Okay, give me give me an error the Quran correct in the Bible. Here we go. Mr. Truth is saying how Quran is a theft, Islam is a theft, 
but yet it's correct to, the, the, I mean look how stupid what you just said Quran correct the errors in the Bible like what that Mary she is the sister of Aaron and Mary is the daughter of a man his name is Omron and Omron is the father of Moses and Aaron so according to your stupid prophet sorry to say so but I have to say the word stupid he thought that Omran, the father of Mary, is the same Omran of the father of Moses. But Mary, she don't have a father. His name is Omran. So you are telling me that your Quran correcting the Bible? I mean, what kind of God? He do not know the correct name of the father of Mary. Muhammad, he, 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 because it's a fool, he heard the Jews saying that Moses have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So Muhammad, he went home. Maryam, aha, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, aha. So he made a verse in the Quran says, Ya Ukhta Harun. Ukhta Harun? Mary, she became the sister of, of Aaron? Yes, because Maryam, she's Maryam. Isn't it her name Maryam in Arabic? The Muslim, when, when, uh, when Kabul Ahbar, he came to Aisha, and he said to her, your husband, the prophet, he made a mistake because there is hundreds of hundreds of, of, of years between Mary and Aaron. Maryam, the mother of Jesus, is not the same. Maryam, the, the, the sister of Aaron. Muhammad, he heard that. He, oh, the Jews get me busted. I have to fix it. He said, no, in the ad days, they used to call them by their great ancestors. But first of all, my friend, Aaron is not from the ancestor of Mary. They are from different tribe. Secondly, how you explain to me the mistake that Muhammad, he put Mary in the Quran. She is the daughter of Omran. If we ask Mr. Truth, what is the name of the father of, Umar, of, of Moses in the Quran? Mr. Truth, seeker, I'm waiting for your answer. What is the name of the father of Moses according to Islam? Who want to help me? Who is a Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? How, how Mary in the Quran, look, if we go in the Quran, there's a chapter in the Quran. A chapter, the name of the chapter, al Umran. The Bible said, God created heaven and earth in the sixth day and the rest in the seventh day, Quran, in the 50 ayah. Let me show you what this guy he said. You know, always I encourage Muslims, by the way, to make those comments or even to call us so we can, you know, we can have fun. The Bible said, God created the heaven and the earth in six days and rest the Quran in the, 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 uh, the seventh day. The Quran says in the, in, in the chapter 50, says Allah created the heaven and the earth in six days and no fatigue. This is because if you are stupid. You see the word is rest, it means no more work to, to be done. It's not God is getting tired. However, let me get you busted. Allah, after he finished creating the earth, he sat in his throne. Is that because he's tired? Why somebody he go and sit in his throne? You see, you are the one who mentioned this, so we have to go for it. You, br you brought this to yourself. This is your Quran, chapter 77, verse number 54. Look what your Quran is saying, and this is your Muslim translation. What happened to Allah after he created the earth and the heaven in six days? He sat in his throne. Why? He is tired? So you are saying the Quran correcting the Bible, it says that God, he rest. So Allah, he sat in the chair because he is not tired. <laughs> Do you see it? Secondly, why Allah is moving from his throne. You Muslim, you say that Allah, he said in the Quran, if Allah, he want to make something happen, he say, be is going to be. But as you see, Allah, he go down and he work. 
What Allah He created by saying be. It took him six days. Where is the word be? Somebody he can create something by be as you claim, yet he is taking him six days. You might say, okay, well, you know, the earth, the creation, it was not by B. No problem. Okay, name for me one thing Allah created by saying B. As an example, God in the Bible says, let be light and light was. Okay, show me in the Quran where Allah, he said, let be this and that was. We cannot find it. <clears throat> right? The book of uh, Exodus, God refreshed. You see, you know, you can't. You, this is your, this is your understanding. You see, everything you, is written there in the Bible is about God. You see, uh, uh, when a Muslim he try to explain something, we laugh. We laugh because you are bringing your own interpretation. And look, you change the topic in a second because you got busted. Before we go to what you are talking about, the book of Exodus, so we will laugh at you more. Can you explain to me why the Quran says Allah created the earth in six days? In one chapter, in the other chapter says eight days. Is it six or eight? This is a chapter seven. If we go to chapter, let us see. <laughs> What a stupid book. And look, you know, they are trying to avoid to talk about Allah and the three daughters. They were not, they didn't know, they didn't know. Nobody can answer us. So if we go and see what the Quran is saying about the creation of the earth and the heaven. Huh? Hold on. But no problem, we will go with them. Allah, he created the earth in two days. Read it. Chapter 41, verse number 9. How many days? Two days for the earth. Okay. Then, after that, He set in it, or on it, firm mountains, according to the funny God of Islam, Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth. <laughs> and the reason for that, so she will not move. In how many days? And he ordained it in four days. What is the number now? Six days. And then he turned into heaven and he finished them in two days. The total is eight. Right? Uh, true seeker. You see, when you, when you say the Bible says Solomon, he did that, give us the verse so we can laugh at you. And let me get you busted. Guys, I want a true seeker, if he is a brave man, to say that if Suleiman, he worship idols, any religion teach that, who have idols, he is satanic. Say that. It's a challenge for you. Are you willing to say that? Or you will not. Anyone, any book, teach that the Prophet Suleiman, he have idols. That is satanic. Say it. Let us see who is the pagan. Here we go. This is your Prophet Suleiman. He is ordering the genie to build for him statues. You see here the translation says figures. What figures? It says Tamathil. Let me change the translation and everybody will laugh at you in a second. So this is your religion teaching that. Who is next? Who is next? This is the best you have? And now he will change the topic. He will keep moving like a monkey. You know, this is what uh, Mimi Hijab, he asked me about the uh, breastfeeding. Okay, why the prophet he, uh, allow breastfeeding? He don't want to talk about it. Uh, different topic. Play this video now. Uh, mute him. Uh, kids. A bunch of kids. Keep jumping like a monkey. You don't even dare to stay with one topic.
Is that your prophet Suleiman? He is building synagogue full of statues or I am lying? Chapter 34, verse number 13. Are you there? Potato? Wrong? It's in the front of you. No, it was Suleiman he ordered you, idiot, because Allah he gave him command over them. If he will, look, 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 let me show you how stupid this guy is. Look what he just said. It's, it wasn't Suleiman because he didn't he didn't know how to read. It wasn't Suleiman he ordered them. Let me let me take a snapshot and put it there. Does it say, guys, they made for him what he willed? I mean, how foolish you are. Does it say there, they made for him what he willed? And this is your Muslim translation? Brother and sister, it is not he, he the one who ordered him. It is them who did that. It says what he willed. And not only that, he have a, you know, he have control of them. He have the ring of Allah, Hoributa ring. I mean, I stay here fasting, waiting for a Muslim for a snack, and then at the end of the day, I get Abbas. He don't even have bones. He is not even a jellyfish. There's no honor even to to crush him. Doesn't say what he will, they do to him what he will. You're just a kid. And now as long as you open this topic, you tell me why Prophet Suleiman in the Quran, he is a Muslim, yet he is making statues. My friend, don't tell me about this guy and this guy, he making funny response. Eh, let them make response. The, the, actually, the, it, it's very good that they make response. People will watch it and people will laugh and then they will come here to see me and listen to me more. I, I am very thankful for the Muslims who do advertising for what we do. So more Muslims will leave Islam. Because as you see, as long as they cannot refute me and call me, if those people who claim to be have knowledge, call me. Silence me. Mute me. <laughs> Hang up on me. Mute him, mute him, mute him. I speak for once again. Mute him, mute him. Cowards. If they have the guts, they will call me. You will go on here. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah telling Suleiman to build synagogues full of statues. Huh? I want to know. Any Muhammadan? <laughs>